What's up everyone, thanks for jumping into this video. My name is Jason, I'm a full-time reseller, and today I'm about to show you how I ship out mugs. This morning I made a really good sale on eBay on four of these mugs. You can see this really intricate, floral, colorful design. All four mugs are in excellent condition and they almost look brand new, look like they've been sitting on the shelf unused. There's the brand right there, you're gonna wanna know, Spode. This brand has done really well for me in the past and combined on all four of those mugs, I got over $70 including shipping. Now I will give you a fair warning, mugs take a while to sell. So if you're willing to wait some time and you're very selective on which mugs you're picking up, you can make really good money just like I did on these today. So let's go ahead and get to shipping. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it to make sure that they get there in one piece. I will say before I get started, I've got this bubble wrap that I purchased from American Bubble Boy. He has been amazing. I've been purchasing ever since I've been a reseller. And when I order it, I get it within a day or two of ordering. It's one of the cheapest options out there. It's reliable, great quality. If you're looking for bubble wrap, I'll link it below so that you can get your supply of bubble wrap as well. All right, so I've got four mugs, all look like this. The most fragile part of the mug is the handle. This is the part that's most liable to break. So this is the part that you wanna protect the most. Make sure that you get enough bubble wrap around this so that if it gets dropped, that you have a less likely chance of it breaking. All right, let's start with the handle. So I'm gonna put this a good portion of the way into the bubble wrap and basically roll in these corners and cover the inside of this handle with cushioning. And then I'm gonna take the rest of this and just roll it up. I've got about three sheets of bubble wrap here that I'm using to make sure that this is really well protected. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the inside of the mug with the bubble wrap. Next, I'm gonna just go ahead and tape it up real quick, make sure it doesn't come loose. And then I'm gonna take this extra on the top here, fold it down and tape it. So it looks just like this. A lot of good cushioning around the mug and most of it right here where the handle is. That's the first one. I'm not gonna show you how I do all four because it's gonna be the same on all of these. I've finished wrapping all these with bubble wrap. Now let's figure out how we're gonna further protect these to keep these from breaking. So I start with the initial bubble wrap and then I add more. Whereas at the beginning when I wrap these mugs, I use the smaller bubbles. Now I'm gonna be using these larger bubbles. Again, American Bubble Boy, you can find this linked below. So what I'm gonna do to start is I'm putting two of these mugs in one strip and I'm basically gonna roll it up inside. And then tape it to keep it from coming undone. There's the first one, and there's the second. I've got a box here that I'm going to recycle and use for this shipment. And as you can see, these mugs will fit really well in here, but we do have some space that I wanna make sure and fill up so that this isn't bouncing around. Even though it is protected, you don't want these flopping around inside the box. So what I'm gonna do now is wrap these two in, again, using the larger bubble wrap, wrap the ends so that it's even more snug. As you can see, it fits in here. I still have a little more space, so I'm gonna make sure that I go ahead and fill this again with the remaining bubble wrap that I have. And I'm gonna take some of this smaller bubble wrap just because the larger is more expensive and just fill in these gaps. And when I seal this off, it's nice and snug. Those mugs aren't gonna be moving at all. And then the last touch for this box before I go ahead and ship this are these fragile stickers. You can find them online. I bought a roll for like 10 bucks and I think it was like a thousand stickers. I just put them on the corners on the top. So this box is ready to go. If I do the shake test, it doesn't move. And now we're ready to ship it. I'm gonna show you exactly how I ship this as well. You can get a free shipping tip today. So I've got my scale over here and now we need to weigh and see how much this is going to come in at. 3 pounds, 3 ounces. This box was 3 pounds, 3 ounces. Now when you're shipping, you might as well just round up to the nearest pound once you get over a pound. So we're going to call this box 4 pounds. As far as the dimensions go, this box is a 14 by 12 by 6. That will be important when we go to ship this to put that in there. 
Now you'll notice that I put it in a standard box. It wasn't a priority mail box. It was just a regular brown box. There's a reason why I do that when I don't know which carrier I'm gonna be going with, UPS, FedEx, or USPS. Now, if the costs are all comparable, I definitely don't wanna ship this priority mail just because I've had issues with USPS in the past giving me um, money for claims on broken items. My claims a lot of times have been rejected and it's been a hassle. So I'd rather just go ahead and go with FedEx or UPS if it's cost effective. From the order here, I'm gonna put in the weight, four pounds, 14 by 12 by six, and let's compare. Priority mail is gonna be 1749 going to Washington. If I take off priority mail, UPS ground is gonna be 1428, and FedEx is gonna be 2040. So obviously UPS is gonna be the way to go here. It saves me about 350 if I'm going up to the next lowest option, which would be priority mail. And honestly, I've never had an issue with FedEx or UPS. I'm just glad that I'm not doing priority mail. All right, got this ready to go. I'm gonna make sure and drop this off at UPS today so that it gets to the buyer on time. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're looking for more reseller videos like this one. Hope you have a great week. This is Jason signing off. Peace. <music>